Hey guys, I've got a pretty awesome application to show you today. It's called Knock Squared Plus. As always, all the links are in the description. I am using the paid version in this video, so if you use the free version, you may not have access to all the features I'm showing you. And yeah, you can see it right here, Knock Squared Plus. And the way I actually came across this application was the fact that I really wanted those Moto X lock screen notifications that look so cool they kind of breathe, so you don't have to unlock your device. This is the closest I've come to it on my Nexus 4. And let me just go ahead and demonstrate that. So I'll lock my device right now and I'll just ring myself to force a notification. Does work with pretty much any notification if you have the paid version. So you get your normal incoming call right here. If I hang up, you'll see that this is what it is. This is the Knock Squared Plus application. You can see it has these really awesome live notifications and you know I didn't have to unlock my device to see the notifications they're just there so if you left this on a table this is how it'd look there are loads of options like timeout features and battery saving options that I'll show you a little bit later you can tap the screen and you'll get your time and you also get the battery percentage at the bottom and if you actually click the uh, notification here you will go straight to the application if you do have more than one notification like a gmail or a whatsapp or something they will just kind of scroll through and you can pick whichever one you want so it's pretty damn awesome if you just click the phone here, you can see it takes you straight to your dial and you can check out your missed call so let's go ahead and dive into the actual application itself and here it is so the first thing is telling you how to turn it on in the accessibility panel next thing is the settings and like I said this is the paid version so I'll probably have more settings than if you have the free version you've got sleep mode here when you want it to kind of not have the notifications at all so say you want it to turn off completely at night you can do that you've also got here LED flash which is pretty awesome actually you can turn it on and when you get a notification your LED will flash twice or as many times as you set it in the settings now these are the interesting options, the power options. Now right here you see pocket mode. I haven't actually had a chance to test pocket mode right here but apparently when it's in your pocket it will turn the display off so it won't waste power when it's in your pocket. You can see here use power while, use full power while charging the device. You've got a dimmer mode and timeout mode. Now my timeout is, is uh, set to five minutes so for five minutes that that notification will be on there. You can of course turn off the timeout completely if you want to keep it on, but it may drain some of your battery. So after five minutes, it will just turn off and I won't see anything on my screen. And yeah, you can see here screen lock. The display will turn off once the timeout ends as well. So it locks your device again. You've also got some other stuff here, the animations, landscape mode, navigation bar. You do have to keep this in your, in your um, status bar right here. This has to stay, you can activate and deactivate it right here. If we scroll to the right again, we can see all the different applications. You can see my cat is in the background. Hello. And yeah, there's all the, like I said, in the paid version, it works with pretty much every application you've got. In the free version, you won't have access to stuff like WhatsApp and all that other stuff. So take that into account. You've also got a logger here as well, which uh, just shows you all the kind of notifications you've got that came through. You can see phone here, WhatsApp, missed call, Gmails, all the different logs. You don't have to have that on again. It works really well. I used it all of yesterday and in terms of battery life, because of my timeout I guess, I really didn't notice any major drain. It didn't show up on my battery life at all. My cat is dying for attention here. It really didn't show up on my battery life graph at all, so it didn't seem to break any of my uh, battery things. It was pretty good. And yeah, I don't have to unlock my device now to see what notifications I have, so that's pretty damn awesome. Yeah, peace out.